Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What is going on, everybody? My name is Zell Prince. Welcome back to yet another React video. Now, today I have something different, or rather, not different, but old. It's a video by Dr. Bob that came out last October. And if you guys know what was going on around that time, I was having severe microphone issues to the point where it got so bad that I had to buy a new microphone. The one that I'm currently using right now that I keep messing with the settings, and I think I finally got it. I, did, I always do testing and then something always happens with the microphone. So that's why last year at the end of last year, there wasn't that many videos because I was having extreme microphone issues and I was getting aggravated to the point where I just didn't even want to record. But this is a video I completely missed out on and did not watch at all, to my knowledge that I can remember. Um, this is SCP-3899, the Night Hauler. Kind of reminds me of Clinton Road. Well, but if it's a phantom uh, truck put it simply um but uh, yeah that's really it to really say about that so i'm gonna go ahead and finally react to this video that i haven't been to watch for god knows how long <laughs> so we're gonna click on this bad boy in three two one go what you got for me you're Bob? on your way home from work after having just finished working a double shift it's late and the interstate is completely abandoned no cars visible either in front or behind you it's only about a 20 minute drive okay. you and unlike the last video i can f drink some water without having to spit it up because the stormtroopers ripped me apart i wasn't expecting the stormtrooper bit no you're going to struggle to stay awake even in this old beater that shakes and rattles as it travels down the long straight oh, that's road. an old truck the rattling causes a piece of tape to fall off of the gauge cluster revealing a lit check engine light beneath you grab the tape and put it back over the light covering it once again there mm. good as new you turn on the radio, and it comes to life for just a moment before dying. You slap the radio, and it blinks to life for just a second before dying again. Mm. You're about to slap it again when you notice huh? lights in your rearview mirror. And more than just a pair of headlights, it's a whole wall of lights. They're getting closer, and quickly too. Before you know it, they look like they're barreling down on you. But then, they suddenly go black, blinking out of existence. Did that trucker just turn off his lights, you think? Hello. You have no time to dwell it's on the thought, SCP the sound of an explosion suddenly causes you to scream in fright. It sounds like lightning has struck just inches from your car. The inside of your car suddenly lights up with fire and smoke. Whoa. Has your engine exploded? What's going on? No, it's not coming from you, it's coming from next to you. You don't know where it appeared from, but next to your car is now a massive semi. At least, you think it was a semi. The smoke is so thick it makes you cough, and you quickly can't see. You lose control of the car and slam on the brakes, but you can feel yourself going off the road. As the smoke finally clears up inside of your car, you can see... the moon. It's uh -oh. at this moment that you realize you're no longer right side up as the car flips and tumbles through the air. You open your eyes Eesh. to find that you are still buckled into your seat. You release the seatbelt and drop to the roof of the car. Crawling. You know what this reminds me of? Does anybody else remember the SCP Smokey video I reacted to a while back? I forgot the number. I think it was like 610 or something like that. Or 900 something. It was definitely a long time ago. But <laughs> that's what this is reminding of. That and another other SCP, the luminescent um, light ones. Or Allowed traffic find lights. That your car slid to a stop upside down several meters from the road. You look around, and far off in the distance, you can see it. The semi that ran you off the road, 
driving at an almost impossible rate of speed off into the night. You look back at your car, which is completely totaled, and wonder what you're going to do now. It's late the next morning when you finally get back home. The police did not seem to believe your story about the magically appearing semi-truck causing your single car accident, but they did at least give you a ride back home after administering a sobriety test. <laughs> you enter your small studio apartment and look around at the sparsely decorated room, wondering how you're going to pay rent next month if you can't get to your job. You go to the fridge and open the door, but there's nothing inside except for a carton yeah. of milk that's well past its expiration date. You open it and take a whiff, but this is too far gone even for your state of desperation. You close the Eesh. fridge and lean on the door, trying to figure out what you're going to do. You're so deep in thought that you barely notice the mail being pushed through the slot in your door. You decide to what go pick it up, even though you know it will only be bad news. And you were right. Bills, bills, and more bills. First, second, and final notices. You wonder if you've ever had a piece of good news show up through that slot in your door. What's this, though? The last piece of mail is a battered and folded envelope that looks like it's been used and repurposed many Does times. Does SCP-3899 send messages to people he runs off the road? It feels thick and heavy, but there's no information on it at all. It's completely blank. You open the envelope, and your eyes light up. Inside is money. It's a stack of crinkled old bills, different denominations, all in a random order, but there's a lot of them. There must be over a thousand dollars here. And there's something else, too. A note. You unfold the creased and dirty piece of paper to see a simple message that looks like it was hastily written in black crayon. All the note says is, Sorry about last night. Hope this helps, compadre. You flip the note over and look in the envelope again, but there's nothing else other than the wad of cash. The apology <laughs> note may have been unsigned, but you weren't the first to receive something like it, and you would be far from the last. The SCP Foundation, though, knows exactly who sent it. This was a message from SCP-3899. Let's get into this. Known as the Night Hauler. Hauler. SCP-3899 is a black Peterbilt 379 semi-trailer truck with an attached trailer. But as you no doubt have determined, this <laughs> is no ordinary truck. SCP-3899 has the anomalous effect of appearing seemingly at random upon stretches of highway within the continental United States and usually at a considerable distance away from any other motorists. The truck Wait, will manifest SCP can appear anywhere? Is that what he just told me? ...be in motion, traveling within roughly three kilometers per hour of the posted speed limit, but it will not stay at this speed. Once SCP-3899 has appeared, it will almost immediately begin accelerating, and the speeds it can reach are truly staggering. Despite really? appearing to be a get? normal truck, SCP-3899 is able to reach impossibly fast speeds, and it's been observed traveling at over 420 kilometers per hour, or Ooh. 267 miles per hour. That is not As normal SCP -3899 for a truck. As SCP-3899 flies down the road, it will attempt to avoid other vehicles and roadside objects, and has even been shown the ability to displace itself across short distances, which it seems to mostly do in order to avoid collisions with vehicles. SCP-3899 will disappear and then immediately appear somewhere else, though always within 300 meters of its last location. This reappearance will be accompanied by a thick cloud of dense black smoke that lab tests have revealed to consist of a mixture of diesel fuel combustion byproducts, volcanic ash, volcanic and trace ash. amounts of unidentified human blood. The what? anomalous truck will only appear at night okay. and will demanifest completely once it encounters direct sunlight or if it causes an automotive accident, which it has done plenty of times. In one huh. particular incident, undercover SCP Foundation agents working within the Virginia State Department of Transportation became aware of reports of a large black truck appearing on a particular stretch of interstate that had caused multiple accidents. They were able to track down and locate one of the victims of these incidents, a woman named Martha Lewis, who they soon brought in for questioning under the guise of it being a police investigation. The agents questioned Martha on her experience, and she explained her own interaction with the black semi. She said, It's all still clear in my head. I'm driving down I-64 on my way home and the sun had just gone down. There's no other cars and I'm about to take my exit when out of nowhere this huge truck just appears right next to me. There was a bunch of smoke, like it was on fire or something, and the sound was like a bolt of lightning had just struck right next to me. It all happened so fast. All the smoke clouded my windshield and before I could really process what was happening, I was plowing right through a concrete divider and into some trees. Wow. I think I passed out. When I came to, there were paramedics and cops. They took me to the hospital. The agents asked if anything happened after that, 
and she said there was one other odd thing. When she left the hospital and went home, there was a letter waiting for her, but it didn't have a return address. Inside was a large amount of U.S. currency in a random assortment of denominations, with many of the bills appearing wrinkled and worn. There was a note in the envelope, too, which read, I'm sorry, didn't mean no harm, for the damages, get y'all a new rig and drive on. Later foundation analysis <laughs> of the document revealed that the note was written with a piece of charcoal on non-anomalous notebook paper. Now, you're probably asking yourself the same question that the SCP researchers had. Just who is the driver of SCP-3899 that apparently wrote this odd note? I'm going to tell you right, what I think before he says it. I don't think there's a driver. I think the truck itself is completely sentient. That's what I think. And also paid for the damages they caused. The operator of the truck, which has been designated as SCP-3899-1, is a very mysterious figure. Observers who have been able to get a brief glimpse inside of the truck as it moves past them at a rapid speed have described the driver as looking only like a silhouette of a slightly overweight male wearing the type of headwear that is typically referred to as a trucker hat. Ah, so there is a... Okay, never mind. There is a driver, but you just can't really see him. Well, that blew my sentient truck at idea out of the window. Damn it. <laughs> Some reports have also alluded to the presence of what appears to be smoke... Oh, wait, hold on. I knew you were gonna do that. Not cutting this part out of the video. I had a feeling she was gonna do that. <laughs> She's been in the video in the room for the last two videos. I knew she was gonna leave sooner or later. Smoky tentacle-like appendages within the oh, hat. Wait. Wait, let me back a few seconds. Type of headwear that is typically referred to as a trucker hat. Some reports have also alluded to the presence of what appears to be smoky, tentacle-like appendages within the cap. Though all further efforts to determine the exact physical characteristics of 3899-1 have failed, as the truck has proved resistant to any kind of outside scanning equipment. Mm. Most of what is known about the driver has come in the form of direct communication, though not in the form of interviews or any other sort of face-to-face -face interaction. Just no, the while SCP-3899-1 right? has never been willing to stop and have a discussion with Foundation agents, it does seem more than willing to speak with anyone and everyone in its immediate vicinity over Citizens Band, or CB Radio, oh. which is a type of shortwave person-to-person -person communication system that is popular with many long-haul truckers. In one particular instance, an SCP Foundation helicopter happened to be traveling above a stretch of road where SCP-3899 appeared. An agent within the helicopter began communicating with the anomalous trucker, first asking for their call sign, to which SCP-3899-1 replied, I'm a night owl and I'm coming in hot. I know y'all can feel this speed. Huh. After adjusting their volume to compensate for 3899-1's loud response, the agent asked if the entity could explain where they came from. 3899-1 answered with, I roll with the wind. My wheels sing sweet love to the blacktop. I'm filling y'all's veins with road salt and exhaust and the smell of burning rubber. Hmm. Ain't no bother where that I'm is... from. We all gotta live for the ride. South. <laughs> Time for nothing. Very southern. I see, the agent responded before asking, are you hauling anything in particular? SCP-3899-1 came back with, Ain't you listening, girl? You seeing this? What I got is pure rattling salvation. 18 wheels at a time. When y'all's roads is choked, when the ways is blocked and y'all's speed is all dead and gone. I'm dropping this load and we'll all be drinking gas and breathing smoke. The agent didn't understand, though, and asked again who they were and what they wanted. 3899-1 replied, This is for the souls of the road, for the long nights and dead engines, and everyone trying to put that horizon under their wheels. I am the roar of hot iron. I am screaming freedom. I am the death of all barriers. This rig ain't got no quit, honey. I do not stop. Can you feel the rumble? Can you see the fire? Smell She's running out the door again. Luna's gonna be playing her antics tonight. This is why I don't like to record videos at night, because I am always interrupted by Luna. Burn! I know you can! I can taste your heart and I know you wanna fly apart with me! 
When the agent began to answer in the affirmative that they could indeed, quote, feel the rumble, seemingly caught up in the excitement of SCP-3899-1's proclamation, the investigation was quickly halted and the helicopter broke off from its pursuit. Following this incident, the potential mimetic influence of communicating with 3899-1 is under investigation. Hmm. SCP-3899, being currently uncontainable by any is conventional Ketter? means, has been classified as Ketter. Yes. <laughs> Upon reports of it manifesting, all CB radio transmissions emanating from the truck are monitored by nearby Foundation listening posts for attempted contact by SCP-3899 to civilian recipients. Any individuals who are contacted are to be administered Class B amnestics, as are any eyewitnesses of the truck itself. All information about SCP-3899 is to be suppressed, and a disinformation campaign is active to make all reports of a mysterious truck that can appear out of nowhere and move at impossible speeds seem like nothing more than an urban legend. Just what is SCP-3899? Is the driver some sort of anomalous ghost, or perhaps an old, eldritch god, a manifestation of freedom and perpetual motion given physical form as a diesel-powered behemoth? can do it again. It's the third time. Myth on the highway. Perhaps the answer to that question is up to you. Now go and watch another entry from the files of Dr. Bob, like SCP-973, Smokey. There it is. Or another. That's the video I was talking about earlier on. Now I remember the number 973. <laughs> oh man, now, now. See it? <laughs> All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I, that is a SCP I've been saving for God knows how long. And it's definitely been a while since I've done an SCP video on this channel. I wanted to branch away from SCP videos for quite a while before coming back to them in full swing. Because I am going to be reacting more to more SCP videos over the next few months or so. And then I'll take another break and then I'll come back again. Because I don't want to react to just one thing all the time like I always do. For the most part, I want to branch off to separate things, you know, expand the channel. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Like and subscribe, all that stuff, guys. And I will see you in the next video. If Luna doesn't interrupt me again. Bye.